good morning and uh, for this video I am going to solve uh, for example problem sample for example problem about uh, equilibrium of a particle okay. first problem for example problem huh? a bean holds the cylinders as shown each cylinder weighs 800 newtons and has a diameter of 600 millimeters. The width of the bean is 1.2. Okay, so the diameter is 600 man. 600, so 1.2 meters. Neglecting friction. First question, which of the following give the force N at point A? Anon uh, ang force there point of contact A. Number two. Which of the following give the reaction in newtons at the wall at B? Wall at B. And then number three, which of the following give the reaction in newtons at the surface? So what? Either F or G because by symmetry, the force at B, I think this is E, the force at B uh, is equal to the force at E. E. By symmetry. So, ang number 3 there, eh, reaction at the surface refers to either F or G. So, since ang number 2 is uh, reaction sa D and the number 3 na to is reaction sa F. So, and since particle ang, ano, ni, although rigid body ni, pero ang analysis ni is, is considered a particle because the forces meet at a common point. So the analysis here is, you analyze ni mo per cylinder and you start with the highest one. Kaya dapat duwara ka announce. So diri ka sa top cylinder, ang unknown ni mo, force A and force B. Duha lang. Kung mo start ka sa, sa bottom cylinder, you have more than two unknown forces. So, um, so you start with this one. If BD is this cylinder, uh, in after you eat na 800 newtons, and then, okay, uh, if you connect the three centers, manotis ni mo na equilateral triangle ni, okay? Same man sila o diameter. 600, so 300, 300. All sides are equal, therefore, tag 60 degrees na yung mga angles. Na. So, plata ni mo, 60 na eh. Uh, force A, FA, and then another one, 60 degrees again, FB. And then, get the components, FA cosine 60, if A sin 60, if B cos sin 60, if B sin 60. And after this one, kay horizontal and vertical naman, you can use conditions of equilibrium. Right? Okay, we only have two horizontal forces. And as you can see, makancel ang cos sin 60. And therefore, if A is equal to if B. And then, you sum up for sa y. Okay. Considering that if a is equal to if b from this one, then pwede na nimo ma-replace siya by a single variable like x if you want. And ma-solve na nimo. So, if a equal to if b is equal to 461.88 newtons. Okay, so that's the answer of question number 1A. After this, you proceed with ng sa bottom. Now, sa bottom, the force at C is equal to 0. Okay, tumot aning cylinder, ang tendency yan, you know, cylinder, due to its weight, ang kining cylinder sa bottom, ma-push ni siya outwards. Ma-push siya outwards. Pag-aak sa force, sana outwards. So, Oh. 
ang ang contact point niya na si wala na sa reaction in between kay wala man siya nagkuan wala man siya nag exert of force nga silang duwar pagawas man outward man ang possible movement ani so wala na ay force sa contact point si Now, if you use force polygon about for this, three forces ah, without the red ones. Okay, 800 and then FA, FB. And since ang direction sa FA from the horizontal is 60, therefore, ang yung angle na yun from the vertical, 30 na. 60 minutes. Same also with FB. Ang yung direction is 60 degrees from the horizontal, So from the vertical is 30 also. So 180 minus 30 and 30. This angle is 120. And oblique man, you can use sine law. So 800 over sine 120. If a over sine 30, if b equals 461. Same also with if B, 461.88 newtons equal na. Sa bottom ng cylinder, okay, ang forces na to four. You have the weight 800, and then this force F A. Okay, na solve naman nila. We already have the value of F A. And then F D compression, and also F at F. So if you will use force polygon, na upat ka forces, ah, it might be difficult for you to analyze this one. So much better to use components. So for this force, the only inclined force, you resolve na to into component. Na and then. So for x, we only we only have we only have two forces. So F D minus this component for six one point eight eight cosine of sixty, and we have F D, and then so I mentioned the force of y, upward F sub F, and then downward ah for six one point eight eight sine sixty. This one red. And then no eight hundred. Oh, ala ala. So it's not advisable to use force polygon. Okay, mas complicated siya. Mas easier ang magsamap tao for sa x and y. Another one, another board exam problem similar, no? Pero lahi ang arrangement, and then with different radii. The cylinders in the figure shown are piled in a rectangular ditch as shown. Neglecting fiction. Radius of cylinders A, B, and C are 4, 6, and 5 meters. Okay, another 4, 6, and 5 meters. Which of the following gives the reaction between A and B? This one, reaction between A and B. Number two, which of the following gives the reaction between the wall and B? This one. And then number three, which of the following gives the reaction between the floor and A? So let's assign some fun. Mga sign taan eh. Point one, point two, point three, and point four. So ang ano nandere? Force between A and B, reaction sa point two, and then reaction sa point four. Laura, same with the previous na problem. You start sa pinaka top na cylinder. With only two other forces like this. So, cylinder C, ang anong sa niya, reaction sa 1, and then force between B and C. You only have two anongs. Pero kung mag-start ka sa B, 
you have three unknowns. Reaction between B and C or force between B and C, force between A and B, and reaction at 2. You, you have three unknowns. Delete by there. You cannot solve it. You cannot solve for the unknowns. As well as cylinder A, there are three unknowns. Reactions at 3, reactions at 4, and the force between A and B. Uh, so therefore, you must start with the top cylinder at C. So, for cylinder C, uh, one yang cylinder, and then identify the forces. Yeah, 20. Ang weight niya, 20. And then, reaction sa 1. And then, force sa DC. Unknown ang theta. So, we'll solve for theta. That's BC. So, theta is the angle that FBC makes with the horizontal. This one, theta. And so, we construct a right triangle. This one. Gana. And this is theta. So, let's separate. Okay, we have this triangle and theta. Identify na to ang sides. For this side, the hypotenuse, it's actually 5 plus 6. So, 11. And then this one, this side. Now, the width is 18. Diba? 18 na. We subtract this radius 5. So, bali 18 is 18. We subtract this one. Radius C, 5. So, 13. So, ang distance saan eh, kina point, up to point 2 is 13. And then we subtract the radius of B, 6. So, 7. Again, it's 18. This one, 18. Minus radius of C, 5. This one, 13. And then minus radius of B in a 6 or 7. So from here, you solve for theta, that's arc cosine. So theta is 50.48. Okay, so <clears throat> let's use first polygon. Basta kung magamit ka, if you want to use components, just resolve the force into horizontal and vertical components. Oh, but para you can practice force polygon, then let's use force polygon. Yeah, 20 and then R1 and then FBC, then theta. Theta, the angle of FBC from the horizontal. So. Now, you already have the value of theta, 50.48. And then 20. So, you can solve for R1 and you can solve for FBC. So, to solve for FBC, 20 over um, sine theta is 20 over FBC. So, FBC is equal to 20 over sine of theta. That's FBC. And then for R1, tangent mayon tangent theta 20 over R1. So, R1 is 20 over tangent of theta. Anyway, uh, man magamit ang. We cannot use R1. So, let's analyze cylinder B and we're going to use the value of FBC. 25.927 as well as its angle theta. So, for cylinder at uh, cylinder B, forces niya are 40. And then, can it? Theta, then, then FBC. 25.927. The unknown forces are R2, reaction sa wall and B. And then FEB. I left the note at uh, the angle alpha. That's FEB. So we will solve for alpha, the angle that FEB makes with the horizontal. This one. With the horizontal. So let's contract a triangle, right triangle. This one. 
Uh, so you have this triangle and you have alpha. And then determine the side. You have four and six. Ten. So ten, yeah? And then for this one, that's eighteen. Eighteen minus four. So fourteen. And then minus six. So eight, na nila. Na eight, oh. And cosine law again. Cosine law, sorry. Cosine, trigonometric function, cosine. Opposite, ah, adjacent, sorry. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Sorry, this is alpha. Alpha na sa alpha. And typo error, wala may edit. Uh, alpha is 36.87. Yeah. So, summation of force, let's use this one. Instead of force polygon, because we have four forces. Summation of force x, diretsyo lang. The component of if b, c along x is directed to the right. So, therefore, positive. The component of if a, b also along x is also directed to the right so positive also and then minus r2 so we have two unknowns so equation one lang and then summation of force y equal to zero we have three forces 40 downward vertical component of if bc is directed downward and then the vertical component of if EB is directed upward. So we have this if EB sine of alpha 36.87. Again, this is alpha, it's not theta. Oh, and then minus the vertical component of if BC and then minus 40. So you can solve for if EB, it's 100. And then from equation 1, you substitute 100, you can solve for R2. R2. So, na-solve na ang uh, question 1 and question 2. Find the reaction between A and B, the answer is 100. The reaction between the wall and B, R2, is 96.5. And then last is the reaction between floor and A, R4. So we are going to analyze cylinder A. And we are going to use the force between A and B, which is 100. And then the angle alpha na 36.87. Okay, so cylinder A, you have the weight, 15. And then if E B with alpha, this if E B 100, and then you have R3, and then R4. And since we have four forces, and then let's just sum up for uh, X and Y. So for X, uh, so for Y na lang, so direct, para Instead na mag sum up tag 4 sa x, mag solve pa mo tag R3, we go directly sa R4 para sa question number 3. So, summation of 4 sa y, R4 minus the vertical component of if e, b along y is downward. So, negative siya. And then, minus 15 also. And you can solve for R4. If you want to solve for R3, then you can just sum up 4 sa along x. So, this is the solution. Okay. Ang shortcut ani is when you use Caltech mode 5. Okay. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something from this video.